Hello and welcome to another video and today we are going to be talking about real life range. Now I have been getting emails, I have been getting comments about this constantly. Like dude what if I ride like this, what if I do that, you know, what is the actual range of the scooter? And the question comes from different users with different batteries and such. So I thought I would make a special video for you guys to answer this question. Hope this will be useful. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. Let's get one thing straight. VSET is of course riding range for both single motor and dual motor and I can tell you one thing single motor stats are bullshit so don't believe those. Supposedly that with the biggest battery which I have if you use a single motor you can drive for 185 kilometers. That is bullshit. I actually did a test with a single motor and dual motors and I can tell you both of them do the same actual range. Yes I know this is very difficult to accept and understand. I had the same difficulty. I could not get what was the issue. Why didn't I actually get more range with a single motor? But just bear with me on this one. <clears throat> I think the reason for it is because when you drive with a dual motor, you pick up speed faster. Therefore, you let go of your throttle, throttle faster and you keep rolling and then you need less power to keep you going versus a single motor where it takes a lot more energy to move you from the spot and to keep you going. So I think that's the main issue that when you use a single motor, you actually hold the throttle for longer, therefore using a little bit more power than you would be using on two separate motors. Well, that's just my theory, of course. So anyway, let's ignore the stats for the single motor because those are just ridiculous and I think it's just not possible to do those. If you have actually reached those numbers, uh, do share, but I believe that's just loads of bullshit, like that's not possible. So what does VSET offer? What kind of batteries? Well, you can choose between three types of batteries. Both have a 60 volt batteries. So the first one is 20.8 amps. The medium battery is uh, 25.6 amps. And then the largest one that I have is 28 amps. So with dual uh, motors, this is what they claim you should manage to do. And again, keeping in mind that they are saying, well, if you weigh 70 kilos, you don't drive faster than 25 kilometers, it's warm outside, you know, and it's flat, then supposedly VSET claims you can do 65 kilometers on minimum uh, battery, 80 kilometers on your medium battery, and then 90 kilometers on your maximum battery. And I have to say it's uh, relatively close to the truth, what it actually is. So, what did I manage to do? Let's maybe start before I um, tell you the actual range. Let's start from the stats. What did I actually use to achieve these stats? So, I have been riding for more than one and a half years now. I have driven for 6,500 kilometers or even probably more. I have not looked at it, but it's around that range. I usually drive on the flat terrain. Uh, so I would say like 80% flat terrain, 20% hills. My weight is about 115 kilograms plus all the extra equipment that I, you know, drive with. You know, the delivery bag, the food in it and blah, blah, blah. Then the temperature varies because I keep driving throughout the year. As long as the snow melts and I can drive and there's no rain, I go for it. So the temperature varies from 5 degrees to 35 degrees Celsius for all your Europe Europeans. And then uh, finally, the settings. You do guys know that you can actually turn down or turn up the aggressiveness. So my aggressiveness is set to 1. don't remember which setting was it, but yeah. So aggressiveness level goes from 1 to 5. So I chose the number 1. It gives you a very soft start and then kind of kicks in after like a few seconds rather than going for uh, the number five setting and you're just uh, in a freaking mad mode where the scooter is trying to kill you. So don't do that. And then the other setting that I have tweaked is to start when I kick off. So not when I press the button and it starts just going immediately, but you have to kick off and then it kind of starts going. 
So those are the two other things. I also don't use the lamp. That might save some, um, some battery. Because I always drive during the day. I rarely drive it when it's completely dark. Those are the settings for what I am doing. Now let's explore the actual range. First I'm going to start with my own and then we are going to be assuming that based on what I have experienced we can calculate what is the actual range of the other two batteries, the minimum and the medium battery. So VSET claims that I should get a range of 90 kilometers, which is not true. The actual range for my own scooter when it was brand new and there's actually a video out there you can have a look I did a test I managed to drive for 70 kilometers which is 22 percent less than the claimed 90 kilometers range so 70 kilometers which is still this decent however as the time passes the battery degrades lately I could not manage to get anything more out of my scooter than 55 kilometers of range, which is 40% less than the claimed 90 kilometer range. And that's in about one and a half years after 6,500 kilometers, which is kind of worrisome in a way, because you would kind of expect it to last longer. But then again, I have been doing maybe 200, maybe more cycles of charging. So it still holds quite well, but uh, 55 kilometers range, uh, that's a lot. Less than uh, you would expect it to be doing. That's the actual fact. That's what I'm getting with my body type, my driving style and all the settings. So now let's explore the other two batteries. So the medium battery claims you can drive for 80 kilometers. So the actual range you should be managing to get from it is about 62 kilometers when it's brand new and about 48 kilometers when it's used as much as I have used mine. If you have the minimum battery which claims you should do 65 kilometers then brand new it should manage to go for about 50 kilometers and after some time when the battery starts degrading you should be managing about 40 kilometers range which is actually still quite good and besides it's actually cheaper than the other scooters with bigger batteries and on top of that i believe that the smaller battery should weigh less therefore less weight therefore more range so maybe it could actually do a um, better job so I hope that was a some useful information for you. So like I said, it really depends on uh, what settings you have. It really, really has, I think, a big influence. Because if you choose the most aggressive setting, if you choose to start from uh, the get-go, like you just press on the button, you go. If you drive aggressively, you push on the throttle constantly, you drive in a hilly area, you're quite a heavy guy. You basically have your settings, aggressiveness settings set on um, position number five, which is basically the scooter tries to kill you. Then, of course, do not expect anything even near to what I actually got. Maybe you can divide it by two. So instead of perhaps 55 kilometers of range when it's used, maybe you can get at best like 30 or something like that. And if it's brand new, maybe 35 so it really depends on your settings and the way you drive but in all in all sincerity i think it's actually doing quite well i suppose we could do more math or you you could do the math yourself i mean you have all the data from me and just you know calculate the degradation of the battery as it goes you know for every thousand kilometers or, or so i don't know that's about uh, what i wanted to say Another thought uh, towards buying a VSET 10 plus scooter. Now that you know the battery degradation is quite big, it's um, actually, well, much bigger than uh, we anticipated. But again, you should maybe then discuss it with your um, seller. If it's a used scooter, you know, look at the mileage, uh, ask him how, we, how he was driving it. 
and then you would get the idea of how far it could potentially go. Or maybe, you know, the seller would tell you the actual real life range, but they usually don't. They just, you know, post the range from the manufacturer. Supposedly it goes 90 kilometers, you know, on the biggest battery. Yeah, right. Come on, dude. Like It will not do 90 kilometers. Although, I will tell you this. I had this friend who is like 80 kilograms and he actually went out with my scooter for a day and he tested it and he managed to get 80 kilometers of range on it. I suppose the lighter you are, the more likely it is that your battery is going to last longer. You know, it's less stress for the controller and it's more likely that you will be able to hit that uh, high range. So I think the biggest issue for this scooter is your weight. The heavier you are, the worse the stats. But if you're a heavy fellow, this scooter is just what you need because it has enough power to be able to, you know, drag your ass up the hill. I might even actually demonstrate it for you, like how powerful this thing is. I remember when I was driving up the hill and people were just like astonished that I would just, you know, went a steep hill like it was nothing. So it, I tell you what, this thing, it goes. Oh, I'm sorry. It flies. But yeah, guys, I uh, hope that was enough information for you and that was in informative. So yeah, you can uh, try and calculate the stats, see what you can find out. And I hope uh, this will uh, help you to get a better idea on uh, what you could expect from this manufacturer and this type of battery or whichever battery you choose and how much range you actually need. So that's it for me, and I'll see you next time.